talking on multiple uh, linear regression. So, uh, this is my uh, first lecture in uh, multiple linear regression and the content of uh, today's lecture is uh, uh, estimation of uh, model parameters in, in multiple linear regression and uh, properties of least square estimators. And then uh, we will be talking about uh, once the model has been uh, fitted, uh, we will be talking about uh, testing for significance of uh, regression. Okay, so, let me re recall uh, the Disney toy problem. Uh, there uh, we had only one regressor variable that is uh, the amount of money spent on advertisement. Well, uh, we have observed that uh, that the regressor variable there and that the that means the amount of money spent on advertisement uh, that explained 80 percent of the total variability uh, in response variable that is the variability in uh, sales amount and uh, the 20 percent uh, of the variability in the response variable that uh, remained uh, unexplained. So, uh, that we say that is you know uh, the SS residual part. Now, uh, there could be one more uh, regressor variable uh, which can explain the part of that unexplained uh, variability in response variable. That means, the part of that 20 percent uh, of the variability which remain unexplained uh, in that case. And uh, one important uh, uh, regressor variable could be you know uh, the number of sales person you employ. Okay. So, uh, also in, in the in, in most of the cases uh, uh, in practice, uh, there uh, you will have uh, more than one regressor variable. And uh, in that case, uh, we need to uh, move for uh, multiple uh, linear regression. Uh, let me uh, explain uh, the multiple linear, I mean uh, multiple linear regression uh, model. Well, Okay, so, the situation here is that instead of uh, one regressor, here we have more than one regressor variable. Uh, say we have k minus 1 regressor variables okay and uh, the general general form of uh, multiple linear regression is uh, yi equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x i 1. So, this one is the uh, first regressor variable plus beta 2 x i 2 up to beta k minus 1 x i k minus 1 plus the error part epsilon i. And, uh, this model is you know basically it is for the for the ith observation. So, i runs from 1 to n. 
Okay. So since uh, we have uh, you know more than one regressor variable, then that is why uh, we call it uh, multiple regression. And since the model is uh, linear, that is why it is called multiple linear uh, regression. But uh, one should be careful, uh, you know, this is a linear function. I mean, linear means it is a linear function of the unknown parameters. Here, the unknown parameters are beta naught, beta 1, beta 2, and beta, uh, there are k unknown parameters. Uh, so, this one is, this model is is linear linear of unknown parameters beta naught beta 1 up to beta k minus 1 so it's not uh, i mean uh, if the if the model is linear in unknown parameter, then then only it is called uh, you know linear model. Well, and uh, we make the assumption that that the error. This is the uh, ith error uh, which follows normal distribution with uh, mean 0 and the variance sigma square and they are also uh, independent all the epsilon i's are independent okay so now we'll define uh, some matrices uh, y equal to y 1, y 2, y n. These are the observations, n observations, uh, beta equal to beta naught, beta 1, beta k minus 1. So, this is a k cross 1 vector. This is the vector uh, of, this is the vector of, of parameters. And uh, this is the vector of observation and uh, epsilon equal to epsilon 1, epsilon 2 up to epsilon n. So, this one is the vector of errors and also we define uh, n cross k matrix which is equal to x that is 1 x 1 1 x 1 2 x 1 k minus 1. So, this these are basically uh, uh, observation, the first observation on, this is the observation, first observation on uh, regressor 1, this is the first observation on regressor 2, this is the first observation on uh, regressor k minus 1. Okay. So, 1 x 2 1 x 2 2 x 2 k minus 1 and similarly 1 x n 1 x n 2 this is corresponds to the nth observation x n k minus 1 okay 
So this is a um, you know it's a matrix uh, of known form because all the values are known. Uh, well, uh, we 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 have we have the data like uh, we have the data of this form y i x i 1 x i 2 x i k minus 1. So, we have this data for i equal to 1 to n and uh, we have to uh, using uh, this uh, set of observations we have to fit a model like this it is a multiple linear regression model. And uh, this model can be now using uh, the matrix notation this model this model can be expressed as you know y equal to x beta plus the epsilon. Well, so, this is the vector of observations, uh, vector of parameters, vector of errors. Well, so, this is the model we have to fit and this is the model in matrix form. We, we are given the data, we are given a data of this form and using this data we have to find uh, i mean we have to est we have to fit the model that means basically we have to uh, estimate uh, the parameters well now we will be talking about the estimation of model parameters. Okay. I mean uh, in, the, in the multiple linear regression there is uh, almost uh, uh, no new concept every all the concept we have uh, already talked about in the simple linear regression. Uh, so, like simple linear regression here also the you know uh, estimating we will be estimating the parameters uh, using uh, least square method. So, the parameters are determined by uh, minimizing the SS residual. Well, uh, okay. So, least square method. determines the parameters. So, here instead of you know only beta naught and beta 1, we have uh, basically k unknown parameters that is the only difference. So, um, least square method determines the parameter by, by minimizing by minimizing SS residual, SS residual. So, what is SS residual? SS residual is basically it is E i square from 1 to n which is again nothing but y i minus y i hat square 1 to n right. Now, 
suppose my uh, fitted model is beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat x 1 plus beta k minus 1 hat x k minus 1. Okay. So, this quantity is equal to so SS residual is equal to y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i 1 because you know I am talking about the um, i th fitted value okay beta 2 hat x i 2 like this beta k minus 1 hat x i k minus 1 whole square. Okay. Now, you know uh, the least square uh, method determines the parameter by minimizing uh, this SS residual. Uh, uh, what we will do here is that I mean we will also represent this SS residual in matrix form. Okay. Uh, for that, uh, we will define the residual vector E, which one is basically uh, E 1, E 2, E n. So, E i is the ith residual. Okay. So, E can be written as E is y minus y hat. So, this y is the vector, um, I mean vector of observations and uh, the vector of observations for the fitted value. Well, so this is my E. Now, SS residual is equal to summation E i square 1 to n. So, we are basically you know, uh, talking about another I mean how to uh, express this thing in, in terms of uh, matrix notation. So, this can be written as E prime E right if, if you yeah. Now, this one is equal to equal to y minus y hat prime y minus y hat. Okay. And this can be written as y prime y minus y prime x beta hat minus beta hat prime x prime y plus beta hat prime x prime x beta hat. Okay. Uh, I, I just missed one step in between. Uh, basically, you know, uh, uh, I am replacing y hat by uh, I am y hat by this expression. So, in matrix notation this is nothing but y hat equal to x beta hat. Okay. So, you replace y hat by y minus x beta hat prime y minus x beta hat. Okay. So, <coughs> and then you have this expression. Uh, here you know this is uh, you can check that uh, this is uh, 
1 cross 1 matrix that means it is a scalar quantity. Uh, similarly, this one is also a 1 cross 1 a matrix. So, basically it is a scalar. So, everything is scalar here. Uh, so, these two quantity, these two are same. So, this can be written as y prime y minus 2 times I am taking this form beta prime x prime y plus beta hat prime x prime x beta hat. Okay. So, this is my SS residual in matrix form, but if you do not understand this one, here is your SS residual, here is your SS residual, which is very similar to the uh, simple linear regression. Only we have this additional terms because of the additional uh, regressors variable and the same thing is represented here in matrix form. Well, so we have uh, two different uh, representation of the SS residual and now we need to differentiate this SS residual with respect to the unknown uh, parameters. So, th there are you know there are k unknown parameters. So, we have to differentiate this SS residual with respect to each unknown parameter and that you that will give you uh, k normal equations. So, uh, then you will be having k normal equations and k unknown. Uh, so, using this k normal independent normal equations you can find out uh, you can uh, get the uh, estimator for the unknown parameters k unknown parameters. Okay, so, here is the uh, process you know uh, L, uh, least square method. Well, so what we have is that we have two uh, I am explaining both the things if you do not understand the matrix representation. So, here the SS uh, residual is of the form y prime y minus y prime minus 2 times beta hat prime x prime y plus beta hat prime x prime x beta hat. So, this is the matrix representation of the SS residual and another way to represent the same thing is that uh, like the usual technique SS residual is equal to summation y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i 1 and similarly you go up to beta k minus 1 hat x k minus 1 sorry you have to put a i here that is all. So, this is my SS residual. Okay. Now, what I will do is that I will differentiate uh, to get the normal equations. I will differentiate this SS residual with respect to uh, beta naught first. So, SS what I have to do is that I will differentiate this SS residual with respect to beta naught hat and equal to 0 this is the normal equation which implies or which gives you know you, di you differentiate this with respect to beta naught hat uh, that will give you uh, summation y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x 1 x i 1 minus 
beta k minus 1 hat x i k minus 1 equal to 0. So, this is my first normal equation and uh, you know this term is nothing but E i okay, y i minus y i hat. So, this can be also written this first normal equation can be also written as summation E i i from 1 to n equal to 0. So, this is my first normal equation. Similarly, next you differentiate this quantity I mean uh, you, you differentiate SS residual with respect to beta 1 hat that will give you uh, the normal equation summation E i x i 1 equal to 0. So, this is a very similar to the uh, simple linear regression and similarly you differentiate with respect to beta 2 hat and you go up to beta k minus 1 hat and the final normal equation is summation E i x i k minus 1 equal to 0. So, here you have you have k normal equations and you have you have k unknown parameters and all these normal equations are independent. So, solving this uh, solving this uh, k uh, normal equations will will give you the k, k unknown parameters beta naught, beta 1 and up to beta k minus 1. Okay. So, this is uh, the usual uh, take I mean a form what we have used uh, in the case of simple linear regression. Now, uh, I mean uh, you know I uh, will go for the matrix uh, representation of the same thing. Uh, what I will do is that I will just differentiate the SS residual which has been uh, explained you know, you know which has been expressed in terms of matrix notation and uh, I will differentiate that with respect to uh, beta hat. Well, uh, so this is my SS residual with respect to uh, in terms of or uh, this is presented in matrix notation. Now, let me differentiate this one uh, SS residual uh, with respect to beta hat, okay. uh, differentiate with respect to beta hat equal to 0 uh, which uh, implies or which gives uh, you know you differentiate this uh, with respect to uh, beta hat that will give you minus 2 x prime y. So, I am differentiating so see this is uh, independent of beta. So, uh, when while differentiating this term it is 0. Now, you differentiate the second term. Uh, so, that will give you minus 2 x prime y when you differentiate the third term that will give you uh, plus 2 times x prime x beta hat and you equate this equal to 0. Okay? I mean you, you, can, you can write down the matrix form in detail and you differentiate will get uh, this one. Okay? So, from here you know here it is convenient to since uh, the, the same thing written here and here. Now, uh, finding beta hat in this matrix representation is easy from this uh, normal uh, equation. So, this is in fact you know uh, it consists of uh, k normal equations this k normal equations. So, from here we get so this implies beta hat is equal to x prime x inverse x prime y. Okay. So, here is the uh, least square estimator of the unknown parameters uh, beta naught beta 1 up to beta k minus 1. Okay. And uh, if you solve this uh, k normal equations uh, you will be getting the same thing. Okay. Now, uh, we will be talking about uh, the statistical property of 
uh, this uh, least square estimator. So, of uh, least square estimator. Okay, so, what I am going to do is that I am just uh, going to prove that uh, whatever estimator we have obtained that means, beta hat which is equal to uh, x prime x inverse x prime y. This is an unbiased estimator of beta. Uh, let me prove that. Uh, unbiased means we have to prove that expectation of beta hat is equal to beta. So, expectation of this one is um, expectation of x prime x inverse x prime y. Okay. Now, what is y? y is in in matrix notation equal to x beta plus epsilon. So, this one is basically equal to E x prime x inverse x prime x beta plus epsilon right. So, this can be written as expectation of x prime x inverse x prime x beta plus expectation of x prime x inverse x prime epsilon. Okay. Well, so this quantity uh, this is going to be identity. So, expectation of and uh, uh, this one is equal to beta only plus the expectation of this term or this random variable. Here, in, you know this uh, epsilon is a random variable which follows normal distribution with expectation 0 and variance sigma square. So, the expectation of epsilon, we know that expectation of epsilon is equal to 0. So, that is equal to 0 which, is, which means uh, this is equal to beta. So, we have proved that expectation of uh, beta hat is equal to beta. That means, uh, beta hat the estimator the least square estimator we have uh, obtained that is an unbiased uh, estimator of uh, beta. Okay. So, next uh, uh, we are going to derive the variance of this estimator. So, the variance of uh, beta hat is equal to the variance of x prime x inverse x prime y right. So, this one is going to be uh, we know the variance of y is equal to sigma square uh, well uh, the variance covariance matrix this y is basically it is a vector and uh, observation vector. Uh, so, the variance of the whole thing and this one is independent of uh, I mean this is a constant term it does not involve any random variable uh, x is not a random variable. So, this one is going to be uh, x prime x inverse x prime i sigma square 
into x x prime x inverse okay so this one is you know uh, this can be uh, finally written as sigma square into x prime x inverse because x prime x uh, and x prime x inverse will cancel out so it is sigma square into x prime x inverse well so next uh, uh, will be Uh, talking about uh, the different uh, representation of uh, SS residual, SS residual in matrix notation. This is uh, we we observed I mean, we derived that this is equal to uh, y prime y minus 2 beta hat prime x prime y plus beta hat prime x prime x beta hat right. Now, uh, you know we know that this beta hat is equal to x prime x inverse x prime y. So, I am going to put uh, this value here uh, just to simplify this expression. This is equal to y prime y minus 2 times beta hat prime x prime y plus beta hat prime x prime x and now we'll plug this beta hat here this is going to be x prime x inverse x prime y so just i have replaced this beta hat by this expression so this quantity is now y prime y minus 2 beta hat prime x prime y plus beta hat prime x prime y because this is identity well so the simplified form is y prime y minus beta hat prime x prime y well so this uh, the same thing you know uh, this one is nothing but summation e i square and here is the matrix representation of this summation e i square. Well, what we know is that uh, we know that this summation e i follows normal distribution with uh, mean 0 and variance sigma square. Now, let me talk about uh, what is the degree of freedom of uh, this SS residual. Well, i equal to 1 to n. So, we know that the summa, uh, SS residual is summation E i square uh, from 1 to n. and uh, and e i is follows normal with mean 0 and variance sigma square. Now, I want to talk about the degree of freedom for this S S residual. S S residual is sum of n e i square, but just now we have derived that you know uh, this e i is they satisfy uh, k constraint that means uh, uh, there are k normal equations uh, involving e i. So, here uh, all the e i's are I mean you do not have the freedom of choosing all the 
EIs, N EIs independently, you can choose N minus K of them, you have the freedom of choosing N minus 1, N minus K of the N EIs and the remaining K have to be chosen in such a way that they satisfy those K constraints. Well, so in, in the case of simple linear regression, we had uh, two constraints on EI. That is why you, you had the freedom of choosing n minus 2 EIs independently and then the remaining two uh, we had chosen, chosen in such a way that uh, they satisfy the constraint, uh, those two constraints. And here instead of two constraint on EI, we have, uh, we have uh, basically n constraint and here, uh, here are the, these n constraint, you know, oh, sorry, we have k constraint and these are the k constraint we have. So, so you can't, uh, this E i squared here, I mean, you can't choose n of them, you don't have the freedom of choosing all the n E i's, you can, you can choose, you have the freedom of choosing n minus k uh, E i's independently and then the remaining k have to be chosen in such a way that they satisfy this k constraint. So, basically you are losing k degree of freedom because of this k, uh, k constraint on, on, on the residuals. Well, so that, uh, so, uh, that is, that, that is explained that the SS residual here, SS residual has n minus k degree of freedom. Right. Now, uh, uh, we know that uh, this, this follows this, then from here you can say that E i square by sigma square uh, follows chi square 1 and, uh, and from here you can say that uh, S s residual, S s residual by sigma square which is nothing but summation uh, E i square by sigma square, this follows uh, 1 to n, this follows chi square n minus k, not n because of those uh, k constraint. Well, and uh, well, so for this we have this result. And uh, also we can define the uh, mean square, residual mean square that is m s residual which is obtained by dividing the s s uh, residual by the degree of freedom n minus k. So, okay. and, uh, and we know that it, it is not difficult to prove that uh, this M s residual is an unbiased estimator of sigma square. That means, uh, ex we can, we can, it is easy to prove that expected value of M s residual is equal to sigma square. So, we have an uh, unbiased estimator for uh, sigma square uh, as well. Okay. Okay. So, before moving to, uh, moving uh, uh, to the uh, statistical uh, significance of the uh, regression model, uh, I just want to give another representation of SS residual. So, the SS residual can be represented in several ways, you know, just uh, simply you can write summation uh, E i square i equal to 1 to n, then we had the matrix uh, representation of SS residual. And now I am going to give another representation of the SS residual, uh, which is uh, um, in terms of the hat matrix. Uh, right now I do not have any use of uh, this expression, but in future maybe we will be using this uh, expression. Uh, let me give another uh, just uh, another representation of the SS residual uh, using the hat matrix. Okay. So, I will say that this is other way, way to express, express SS residual. 
okay so well what we know is that we know that e equal to in in matrix notation e equal to y minus y hat so this y is basically the observation vector and this one is going to be y minus what is y hat y hat is nothing but x beta hat right now this one is going to be y minus x now we'll replace this beta hat by uh, its estimator x prime x inverse x prime y right so what i got is that this is equal to uh, i minus x x prime x inverse x prime right so this one is uh, using the notation of h matrix this is i minus h into oi so this a, this is an n cross n matrix the n cross n matrix h which is equal to x into x prime x inverse x prime is called the called the hat matrix yeah this is called the hat matrix because you know ultimately what we had is that here it is equal to y minus hy so uh, this is called hat matrix because it this h matrix turns from y to so this one is hy is nothing but y hat so this matrix turns from y to y hat that's why it is called hat matrix and uh, now uh, you know you can you can prove that uh, you know h h square equal to h well so this is the specialty of this matrix uh, now ss residual can be written as ss residual is equal to e prime e which is equal to y prime i minus h prime i minus h okay and you can you can check that uh, this i minus h prime i minus h is nothing but i minus h so this can be written as y prime i minus h uh, y so this uh, this is uh, you know another way to uh, express uh, the ss residual right and uh, as i said at, uh, i i'm not going to use uh, uh, this expression of ss residual in terms of hat matrix at this moment i'll be using in future uh, well next uh, i'll be moving to uh, the sort of you know uh, anova approach to to test uh, the statistical significance of the uh, regression model uh, for that uh, i'll be preparing with um, i'll i'll talk first i'll talk about ss uh, total and then the ss regression well so what is ss total here uh, this is uh, ss total is nothing but the um, variation in the observation or variation in the data which is nothing but uh, yi minus y bar square i equal to 1 to n so we have uh, n observations uh, of the form uh, y i and then x i 1 and then x i k minus 1 so uh, this sst is nothing but the variation in the uh, response variable well so this can be written as summation y i 
squared minus n y bar square. So, this is this is not difficult to check. Okay. Uh, well, uh, what is the degree of freedom of this SS total? SS total has degree of freedom, uh, yeah, it is sum of n terms, but of course, it, it satisfies the constraint, it satisfies the constraint that y i minus y bar, this is equal to 0. So, you do not have the freedom to choose all the um, terms, I mean y 1 minus y bar, y 2 minus y bar uh, up to y n minus y bar. So, you, you can choose uh, uh, n minus of, you have the freedom of choosing n minus 1 of them and th then the uh, nth one uh, has to be chosen in such a way that uh, that uh, that uh, it satisfies this constraint. So, SST has degree of freedom n minus 1. Now, uh, what is SS regression? SS regression is equal to SS total minus SS residual, right. Well, so SS total is equal to, we know that this is equal to summation y i square 1 to n minus n y bar square minus SS residual. SS residual, if you can recall, it is y prime y minus beta hat prime x prime y in matrix notation. Now, I can also, you know, slowly, I mean, this, this can be re replaced in, mat I mean, this can be also written as uh, y prime y minus n y bar square. So, this y bar is nothing but the mean uh, of the observations minus y prime y plus beta hat prime x prime y. So, these two will cancel out and you are left with beta hat prime x prime y minus n y bar square. So, we have the expression for SS regression, we have the expression for SS total, we have the expression for SS regression and uh, just we are left with the degree of freedom for SS regression. Uh, what we know is that uh, SS total is equal to SS regression plus SS residual. Well, so let me uh, say again that uh, that this is the this is the total variability in in the response variable, and that variability is partitioned into two parts. One is, I mean, how much of the variability in the response variable is explained by the model that is SS residual, and the part which is not being explained by the regression model is called the SS residual. Well, uh, we want to, we want the model to be such that, uh, we want the model to maximize SS regression and, uh, and then obviously minimizing SS residual. Okay. Uh, so, SS total has uh, degree of freedom uh, n minus 1. We know that SS residual has the degree of freedom n minus k, then the degree of freedom for SS regression is n minus, sorry, is equal to k minus 1. So, here is the degree of freedom for, so 
S S regression has degree of freedom k minus 1. Well, well so uh, in the next class, uh, uh, I will be talking about the um, statistical significance of the uh, regression model in case of multiple linear regression. Uh, thank you very much.